So, we're going to go and check the chickens for eggs. That's funny. Okay, let's go. Oh my, look at it, they're all coming. They, they must think we're going to feed them or something. Something. How many chickens are there? They have those combs up on their head. Does that make them roosters? I don't know how this works. I don't either. I'm not. Uh, I thought you grew I'm, up in. I'm not a chicken ex. I'm not a chicken expert. You're the chicken boss this week. <laughs> yeah, I'm the chicken boss this week. Let's. You're in charge of them. Let's let's go find eggs. I'm a little afraid of them. You're afraid of chickens? Yeah, someone made me hold one a couple years ago. Wait a minute. Maybe they think... just spazzed out. Maybe you go over here. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Oh, well, of course, you go over here. It's the chicken inn. <laughs> so this is this is the coop or that's a coop? A coop. You know, I got a cupola on my house in Mexico. <laughs> I think I smell coop all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. He said to pick eggs. He didn't tell me about this part. Oh, 10 cents. Fresh eggs, 10 cents. Hang on a second. Just leave a dime on the <laughs> doorstep. It doesn't say each. Oh, there's eggs in there. There's a lot of eggs. He says you got to collect the eggs so that the chickens will lay more. Is That's that the deal. Works? Yeah. Did you bring the bag? I got the bag. Um, I guess I better close this door in case yeah. they come running. Yeah, they could come out here. Look here. That's a eggs. lot of eggs. That's a lot of eggs. So many in one little cubby there too, and different colors. Whoa, check that out. Wait, I think there's a rooster coming. Oh, no, it's a hen. Roosters don't lay eggs, do they? <laughs> you have a song about that. <laughs> I'm correcting you. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, there's even more over here. Check it out. Eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. There's a dozen right there in that one. Really? Yep. Wow. They, well, didn't, they didn't lay them in a row like I'm used to. Though. I should have gotten more directions about this because two rows of six. They just said pick all the eggs because there's a lot. Hmm. Where's well, where's low when you need them? I'd see if any of them are warm. Because they'd be sitting on them or something. I don't know. Uh, that creeps me out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know about that. There? That's a big one. Let me see. Who is this I'm picking eggs with? It's oh, it's my son Peter. And we look out the window. What's happening here? Is it going to go lay an egg? I don't know. Uh, maybe this, this might be a territorial dispute. <laughs> Did you come in here? I'm going to grab eggs and make a run for it. Hang on a second. Are you, uh... Oh, I know the story I have to tell. I have to tell the story about stealing the turkey at Thanksgiving time when I was in college. Stealing the turkey? Yeah. I don't know. Are... Does this one have an object? Wait, what's that behind me? Whoa. There's another one right by your face. Oh no! Watch out for that one. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know about this. This might have been a trap. <laughs> Check the door and see if you can get back out. <laughs> So that's the first time you ever collected eggs? Definitely the first time. I They just made a big mess in there. Well, I haven't collected eggs for a long time. I kind of got that impression. Yeah. I'm used to them laying <laughs> eggs in two rows of six. That's, that's <laughs> the way it looked at the store. Yeah. Uh, you know, in Mexico, though, we get eggs like this in a bag. You don't get them in a box in two rows of six. And you don't buy them by the egg. You know, it's not by the dozen. Right. It's by the kilo. Yeah, I don't know. How many eggs is that? About a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> These come in all pretty colors. Well, let's look at them. Uh, uh, maybe the... I see a little feather on there. You know what? I'll bet you that's from a, another broken egg. Maybe so. Yeah. Well, let me see in the bag. 
tried to grab a couple different colors. Oh, wow. Cool. Peach and dark and some green and some white. So so did you get a dozen? I, I got been, scared. I, been, I stopped counting and started getting <laughs> out of there because there were chickens coming after us. Hey guys, we're going to do a mukbang. Okay, let's hear it. What's Urban Dictionaries? Here. A mukbang is where a consumer or person consumes large amount of food while interacting with friends, family, and or viewers. Oh, I did a mukbang just on my last video. No, but you have to, it was you, a pie. You have to we're call all it. What? You have to call it a mukbang or mukwang, whatever it's called. Now, you have to call it that. Urban Dictionary always uses it in a sentence. You if you do that, Grandpa, if you do you that, people will think it's really funny. You can't call it after the fact? No. You have to do it. Yeah. Well, hang so, on. Hey, guys, we're going to do a mukbang. Okay. How come in the monkey bread, you always grab that part and I get the dry part? <laughs> Here. This oh, is a mukbang. Smarter, faster. <laughs> Just take the top. Yeah. Bomber. Quicker, stronger. <laughs> okay, I got the I got the I got this. Is that enough to make a mukbang? <laughs> Wait, hold on, do we have to tell him? So, he was he thought he was videotaping this whole time, but he didn't even click videotape. He doesn't know how to work. Take two. <laughs> There's no sense. Yeah. You, can, you can't make what me look bad on video because I just edited it out. <laughs> you, you don't know how this works. No, I do know muck, how it muck, works. You have to leave bang. it in. You have to leave it in. Mukbang. So you're supposed muck, to... Muck, muck, are you, muck, you're supposed to... Muck, I, don't, I don't think I understand mukbanging. Yeah, I don't think you do either. So, but if I say, I don't know who's a mukbang, then all your friends will watch it? Huh? Mukbang yeah. equals subscribers. No. Grandpa, it's funny because you don't know what you're doing. Huh. I didn't think it's funny. What are you telling us? <laughs> what are we supposed to be doing? Number 17. Last year, I killed 258 flies. Stay tuned for the count. You say what? Is it video? Of course it's video. <laughs> I just think you really got it together today. You got that beautiful blue blouse and the necklace is perfect and the blue glasses. Now everybody knows. And everybody knows what? That I match my glasses to my outfit. Of course they do because we we're clear back in uh, Ajijic at the Nueva Posada restaurant and we talked about all the different color glasses you have. Oh, did we? Yeah. Oh. So if I put this on YouTube, I should put up one of those cards that uh, refers people back to that uh, video. Yeah, there you go. I'm sure glad I got you. I'm sure glad you got me too. Hi friends, gonna go for a walk here around Lowell's wonderful property. Not too bad a camping spot. Actually, it's fantastic. It's beautiful here. I really love all of the colors of the trees. This time of year, it's just beautiful. Look at this. Every color of Christmas tree you could possibly want. Hey, Larry. Come here, Larry. Larry! Larry! Come, kitty, kitty, kitty. I can't pet you, though. I'm cutting up apples. Oh, poor little Larry wants a pet. Larry, when I get done, I'm going to just pet and pet and pet. But come over here in the sunshine. You're just like my other cat I had. You don't understand about the pictures. Larry. Yeah, hi, Bunny. Yes. Yeah, hello, Larry. Hello, Larry. The first thing I found this morning was walnut trees. I think I counted six walnut trees and they're huge and they have just recently shed all their walnuts 
There are walnuts all over the ground. And I've picked up a small bag full. There are lots of fruit trees here. Apple trees, walnut trees, pear trees. And they're very old mature trees. This is the delicious apple tree, red delicious. Look at the size of that. And it eats real good too. I ate that one. These are bosque pears, also called russet bosque pears because of the color of them. And they are delicious also. These are gala apples and they are delicious too. And these things are really big. Look at the size of this one next to my foot. Hey, Larry. Pet, huh? Uh, yeah, I'll give you some of that tummy stuff. Oh, aren't you the cutie pie? You sure you don't want to go to Mexico? It's a really great place. Yeah, you could, you could chase big rats. You could chase lizards. And these are yellow apples. I don't know what kind of apples golden they are. Delicious. Oh, Lynn says golden delicious. Lynn would know. There are lots of big parts of trees that are going to be split into firewood, like this. And there's a lot of farm machinery around. Interesting big old tractors and a vegetable garden that's amazing. I went around the farm this morning and I picked one of everything I could find except for the watermelon. The watermelon didn't fit into the picture. This is a row of zinnias about a half a block long and every color that you can imagine a zinnia ought to be. The muskmelon or cantaloupe were kind of at the end of their life. Red peppers, watermelon, Tomatoes, tomatoes, as far as you can see. Look at the size of that one. It was as big as my foot. Squash, zucchini squash. Look at that big boy. Yellow peppers, green peppers, jalapenos, habaneros. Also called Scotch Bonnet. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.